I have to read mine. Okay. Um, in your book, you talk about how you did not trust the CIA because of their relationship with the Pakistani ISI. Yes. Are there any examples of their relationship you could cite that would explain this mistrust? Um, there are three that I'll cite that I think are already in the public domain. I, I won't get any trouble saying about. First, um, when um, Masood, the, the Northern Alliance leader, was trying to get the word out about the threat of al-Qaeda before the 9-11 attacks, he kept talking about the fact that the Taliban were, were very successful in work, working with the al-Qaeda guys and with the Pakistanis. One of the things about Massoud is that he did not take money from the normal channels. He was funded by others to include, I think, the Iranians, which made the Pakistanis very uncomfortable. So um, I believe that Massoud was ignored partially because he wasn't CIA's boy. I think that the, 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 there's a book I would refer to all of you. Uh, if you haven't read it, I think you should. It's a great read, plus historically very accurate, better than the movie, Charlie Wilson's War. And so there's a great deal of discussion there about our close relationship and using, frankly, the ISI to be our vehicle or whatever you'd like to use, our proxy in Afghanistan. So when it came time for our operations when we recognized that the Taliban were coming back and the ISI was helping them by the fact we captured an ISI operative with the Taliban, we had recognized we could not trust the ISI by extension then CIA. CIA. And um, I'm very hard on the CIA. I've talked to a few officers who showed up my signings. Nothing personal to them. I'm trained by them, but I'm not one of them. And um, the, the issue came down to the fact that I believed that CIA equities uh, and maintaining a relationship with the ISI would have been a higher priority to them than us going after the safe havens. Uh, this is a follow-up to the first question. As you just mentioned, in the 1980s, the CIA, the Pakistani ISI, and Saudi Arabia supported the Mujahideen during the Afghanistan-Russia war. This system continued on throughout the 90s in the Balkans and elsewhere, and 9-11 whistleblower Sibel Edmonds says, that bin Laden and the Mujahideen worked for elements within the U.S. government up until the day of 9-11. It is alleged that the Pakistani ISI and Saudi Arabia were involved in the 9-11 attacks. The U.S. government has gone to great lengths to cover up involvement of both in the 9-11 attacks. A, do you think this is part of the reason why the Pentagon wanted to cover up the Pakistani ISI's relationship to terrorism? And B, do you think these are legitimate avenues that should be investigated with regards to 9-11? Uh, yes and yes, and, and let me expand on that. First, there was clear evidence that the Saudi royal family was not only involved, they met with bin Laden in Afghanistan shortly before 9-11, so no one really knows. As a matter of fact, one of the, uh, uh, attempt, one of the shots we had at bin Laden, now, you all may be aware of uh, Michael Scheuer, Alec Base, Alex Base. They had a shot. The CIA had a shot at killing Bin Laden. And one of those shots that they were ready to take, they had him in, literally in, in the crosshairs with a, with a UAV. They didn't do it because a Saudi prince was right next to him. So I think that's pretty clear evidence that there's something there. Secondly, there's been evidence for a lot of years. Now, let me be very clear on this because... Uh, I, I, you know, I've gotten criticized for being too hard on the, on the Saudis, believe it or not. The Saudi government probably was not as a government involved in 9-11. However, when you got hundreds of princes with millions of dollars who do support bin Laden, it would be insanity to think that one of them or two of them or three of them didn't financially support him. So I think the evidence is very clear that the financing that ran a lot of the 9-11 events leading up to that time did come from Saudi royal family members. And it's something that has been, I believe, suppressed.